everybody welcome back to another awesome day another awesome vlog it's been a while since we've done a van update this is our 2017 Ram Promaster 2500 high top and we have just decked this place out ourselves so we have been camping excuse the mess we've had some lunch we've got all kinds of stuff around that you'll see as we go around the van in the video but I want to point out some of the really cool things that we've done in this van in order to make it comfortable so that we can come out on a 92 to 95 degree day and enjoy our camper van so here's where we started behind this first we did rigid insulation on all of the walls and attached it then we did one by two boards and that is how we attached this plywood which is covered by this camo fabric to the wall so we drilled the one by two boards into the solid sections and like the bracing sections of the van wall so that then we had an area as you can see right here there's a screw and they really are hard to see because they blend in really well but that there all the way across is our brace board where we were then able to attach our plywood however we did it I mean Bill really planned this out in advance but it was such a good plan because the walls don't rattle everything's nice and quiet and the insulation keeps it cooler in here on the hot days and warmer in here on the cooler days obviously we have our TV here we did the um, wall bracket onto our plywood that's one of the things that's really nice about having the plywood is we are then able to attach things to the wall such as our TV our mirror um, and it's made it really really nice to be able to attach the things that we want in the van this is a nice easy way just to drill in or nail into the wall to attach something obviously if we were just using the metal walls that would be much more difficult so this has made it amazing here we have our bed we have a really really nice mattress under here that we purchased from Target online and it is a great quality it's really really comfortable for sleeping in it's also really comfortable for movie days when we just want to come relax take a nap watch a movie this has been a wonderful wonderful thing on these back walls we have covered more of the rigid insulation board in order to help with the temperature in here and our door is slid open but we've done the same thing on the panels of our sliding door so that we can have our door open we have this screen mesh we actually purchased this um, it is a kit but we kind of turned it into how it would work for us we bought two kits sewed them together along this edge here and cut off the extra over here we have screwed them into the plywood that's on this side of our van and then it has magnets down the middle so that we can go in and out but this keeps any bugs out and allows us to let some fresh air come in which is wonderful we also cut holes in the ceiling pieces this is just one of the edges of the ceiling pieces and we'll get to the ceiling in a minute but we cut holes so that you can get to the lights so that when we do want to use the lights in here if it's dark we have light from the van there's one right here on the side and there's also one on the back above the back doors next let's head up to the ceiling we have nailed boards up here and we did something very similar with the ceiling as we did with the walls we did the rigid insulation first and then we did the one by two boards across the main braces which if you pay attention you can see that all of the screws are in one general area everywhere that we have put a brace that allowed us to very very safely attach these so that obviously we can be in here with no fear of them coming down but also you really have to screw them in place because we're traveling in this I mean we're on dirt roads sometimes when we're heading out places and you want to make sure there's not a lot of rattling and not a lot of squeaking from the things that we have put in here and as you can see this is a nice solid roof or ceiling area for us plus it's a nice finished look we really like that I will tell you though that one of the things that we are definitely the most proud of is this amazing vent 
if you didn't watch the video from when we did this, I will tell you, we ourselves cut a hole in the roof of our van. We cut a hole up here and we installed this ourselves. Talk about scary. This van, I mean, it's an expensive van, obviously. It was nearly brand new and we cut a hole in the roof. Kind of scary. However, it was super exhilarating, especially when it all came together the way that it did. We've made it through one of the rainiest seasons that we've had here in Southern California in a long time. No leaks, none whatsoever. So clearly we did a really, really great job in putting this in. It's also really nice because the next thing we're gonna get to is our Arctic King air conditioner. And when we turn it on, we can open the vent, which allows the hot air to go out the top. This is our Arctic King air conditioner. It's really, really awesome because it can blow out either just a fan and just move some air around, or it can blow out nice cold air like we're using today. It has really, really cooled it down in here and makes it much more comfortable for us on the hottest of days like today. This is one of the hottest days so far of the summer season. As you can see, we have a vent that vents out our window. This little makeshift piece is insulation and duct tape that Bill made so that it would fit perfectly in our window so that it can vent the hot air out and keep the cool air inside. There's also a bucket down below the front seat here, and in it is a tube. And that's where the drainage water goes. So as it's cooling down the air, it drains the water into the bucket, and then when we're finished, we just dump it out. It's nice when we come to especially the Thousand Trails campgrounds, which is where we're at today, because we have hookups for no charge and so we can hook it up and we can run our air conditioner all day long if we want and it's no extra charge for us to do that the other thing that we have in here that's nice is this amazing couch we do have it bungeed back there so that it is attached to the van and won't just fly around it is a really really comfortable nice place to sit though especially on a nice day when we've got the air conditioner here and some nice air coming in fresh from outside it's a nice place to sit and relax. We love it. It's worked perfectly for us. And this we ordered online from Walmart. It was a really reasonable price and it fits perfectly in the spot that we needed it for. But one more thing back to the Arctic King that I wanted to tell you that I forgot to mention. We have it sitting between our two chairs. In order for this to work properly, it has to be sitting perfectly level and as you can see the base underneath here sits at a slant so bill has built this perfect little platform for it to sit on and it makes it sit level so that it can work properly it is wonderful he just cut some wood and some extra pieces of our flooring to put it together and it's perfect it holds it in place it's great Next, we're gonna head over here. We have this wonderful cabinet that we purchased at Home Goods. Like I've said, you know, all of our stuff has come from different places. We just measured the space and kind of went out and found the things that we needed and put it together ourselves, and it's really worked out great. So this we got at Home Goods. It's nice because it opens up. We've attached it as well. And this is where we keep all of our batteries and everything we need for our solar. So we have our solar panels that sometimes we bring them camping with us if we're gonna be going on a trip and being gone for a couple of days, which is what runs our television and our DVD player when we wanna watch movies. So we wanna make sure that these stay charged. So sometimes we bring the panels with us, but if we're just going out for a day trip, Bill will get the batteries all charged up at home with our solar panels and bring the batteries. Under here you can see we have an extra battery just in case we need it, it's charged and ready to go. The other thing that's really cool about our bed is these 
are storage bins. So they actually have doors on the other end that we'll show you when we get out. And they open up so that we can put storage and things under here. And it's also nice under the bed, which you'll see when we get out and look around also. But we have room to store chairs, tables, different things that we wanna bring with us under this space. We just have another piece of plywood that we've covered with fabric under here. And that's what supports our bed between the two boxes that hold our storage. So now let's head outside and check out some of the things on the outside of the van and the back end of the van. Following you. Okay, let me get my shoes. Glad she finally took a breath. <laughs> the other thing that's really nice about these is because it's a metal van and these are magnets, they stick to the sides to make an opening and then we have a little step to come out. The doors open up all the way. They actually go all the way back along the side of the van so we can have it totally open and the doors out of the way. This is the other side of the storage under our bed, which is awesome because there's a lot of room under there. We only have two chairs right now. This blanket is just between the two chairs to keep them from rattling and scratching each other. But as you can see, there's a lot more room there and a lot more things could be taken in the van and stored under here while we're traveling. In this storage bin, we have our levelers. So if we end up camping somewhere and needing to level the van, that's where those are. And sometimes this is where we'll store some of our panels, our solar panels, if we're traveling for a long period of time. They fit right in there nicely and can go along with us. On this side, we have our golfing supplies. But sometimes we also put more chairs. We have the folding chairs that fold up smaller and go in there and we have those in case we have other people coming and camping with us or in case we meet someone at the pool and want to invite them over to our van to spend a little bit of time with us. We've covered these to match the walls and we've painted them. We have latches and of course we have our little Disney hooks here. We also have finished the edges with this rope and that is something that we think just finished it off perfectly and we love. Of course we have the really nice big mirrors when driving. It makes it really easy to see but it's a nice short end which is also really really nice when we're traveling long distances. It's not hard to drive and it's not hard to see out of. We have a nice wide open window out front, which makes it really, really easy to see as well. And when you're traveling with such a large vehicle, it's nice to have some of these features, such as the large side mirrors and the big window in order to see where you're going and to maintain safety. In the back at the top, we do also have a backup camera. So when we're reversing, it helps us to be able to see where we're headed. This is our hookup that we showed you from the van where we can hook up and get electricity in there. Right now we're only using it to run our air conditioning, but we can use it to run anything. We do need a adapter. This is called a pigtail power adapter and it's necessary in order to run this much electricity that we need. So we have our adapter that we've attached to our extension cord. This is a heavy duty extension cord so that it can handle the power of what we need as far as electricity is concerned. And we've made it back to the side of our van. So as you can see, this van is really, really perfect for us. Come back here for a minute because I want to show you something else. So up there, that is our backup camera. It's a really, really great add-on. We were very glad that it came with that because we have solid doors and no rear view mirror. So without a backup camera, it makes it really difficult to see anything that's directly behind you. So the backup camera is really, really helpful. 
We also have a heavy duty tow hitch. So we could pull a boat, a trailer, whatever we want behind our Ram ProMaster. It is amazing. This is such a sturdy vehicle. It can tow um, up to 5,000 pounds. So that's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can tow that are that weight or lower. And it's just been all around a really, really great purchase for us. We're so happy that we bought it and we're so happy every time we get to take it out. I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you enjoyed our update and some of the things that we've possibly done to the van that you haven't seen. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Dang, she did all that in one take. <laughs>